Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. A drug already in use to treat liver disease could slow the progress of Parkinson's disease. Researchers at the University of Sheffield have found that the drug ursodeoxycholic acid, or UDCA, improved function in tissue taken from Parkinson's patients who carry the mutated version of the LRRK2 enzyme, which is associated with Parkinson's and causes mitochondrial defects. The Sheffield scientists also found UDCA to have beneficial effects on a fly model of Parkinson's. Since the drug is already in clinical use to treat liver disease, if the results of this study are confirmed, it could find its way to Parkinson's patients relatively quickly. A new treatment capable of slowing or stopping the progress of Parkinson's, which affects between 7 and 10 million people worldwide, would be very good news. Next up, new research suggests that music could be effective when treating people with epilepsy. Approximately 80% of those with epilepsy have seizures that originate in the same region of the brain as the auditory cortex, which processes music. Researchers at The Ohio State University studied the brainwave patterns of subjects with and without epilepsy in response to silence and two pieces of music, one by Mozart, one by John Coltrane they found that the brain waves of those with epilepsy tended to synchronize with the music they were hearing more than those without epilepsy. The researchers were surprised by the result, not expecting music to be processed so differently in the brains of those with epilepsy. Now the hope is that music could be incorporated into more traditional treatments to help prevent epileptic seizures. This research was presented this past weekend at the American Psychological Association's 123rd Annual Convention in Toronto. And finally, an international team of astronomers has discovered what looks to be the largest feature in the universe. It's a ring of nine galaxies, five billion light years across. Astronomers in the U.S. and Hungary discovered the ring after detecting and charting the positions of gamma ray bursts. They found that the sources of nine gamma ray bursts were all approximately the same distance from Earth, about seven billion light years. The detection of a gamma ray burst typically indicates the presence of a galaxy, and these nine galaxies form a circle in our sky 70 times larger in diameter than the full moon. There's only a 1 in 20,000 probability that these galaxies are arranged this way by chance. Odds are this is a structure, and these galaxies are bound to one another by gravity. If so, it's by far the largest structure ever observed, five times larger than the commonly accepted theoretical limit for the size of such structures. Not only is the great ring of galaxies awesome in its own right, it could potentially enlarge our understanding of the large-scale structure of the universe itself. This research is published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. A liver drug shows promise as a treatment for Parkinson's disease, music could help people with epilepsy, and astronomers discover what might be the largest structure in the universe. That's the good news. I thought the largest structure in the universe was a cat's ego.